I give that assurance that uh, this is not a matter that is negotiable whether or not Wiper will have a presidential candidate is a given and so nobody should sleep with any doubt in their minds because if we don't make that decision now in fact if it was not for COVID probably uh, we would have made it on the 11th of August but because you are Wiper Women Democrats and you 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 are you making sure the bedroom is safe, <laughs> all right? Uh, you need to know. Very soon we will set up, we are setting up the structures. We'll make the necessary uh, uh, pronouncements. Just like uh, Secretary General and I and the leadership of the party have been consulting on when to call the next uh, uh, delegates conference. Because we need to up our constitution to make it uh, uh, align it with the realities that we face, including what is even anticipated under BBI, align it and move. We have to get into this habit that if you see somebody coming to you and they are not wearing a mask, then flee, flee, so that that can begin to enter the imagination of the Kenyan people. We have this invisible enemy and God willing we shall defeat him. But we must also up our stakes by recognizing it's not a joking matter. About two days ago, Nilipata Habari, Kwamba Ndugietu Sami Mulu Mutisia, firstborn son, Wamze Mulu Mutisia, Alituacha. And yesterday, early morning, Nikapata Habari, Kwamba Ndugietu Masaku, firstborn son, Wamze Ngei. Pia Metuacha. I think, in fact, I spoken to him when he was in hospital. I didn't think it was that serious. So these are two of our brothers we have lost just these last few days. So we send our condolences to both the Mulu Mutisia family and also the Pong Gay family upon this terrible loss. May God rest their souls in peace. I were to observe one minute silence. Santini. Good. Now